Well, what stunning words we've just been able to sing there, both of how we have been treated by Christ in the past and how God shows his love towards us, but also how we are treated in the present and how we should respond to Christ. And Jesus reveals to us all that the Father is to us as well, because he bears the family likeness. But that's not the only way that family likeness is used in scripture. I'm going to think about that a little bit more in a moment. But first, a challenge around the theme of family likeness. You're going to need to grab a scrap of paper unless you've got an exceptional memory. And on that scrap of paper, I need you to write A to I. OK, so letter down A to I. I'm going to show you a series of photos, uh, A to I which are of a child, a grown-up child, most of them, but a child nonetheless. And you have to try and match them to who you think their parent might be. So I'm going to show you another set of photos, uh, all of which uh, are parents of the children. So you'll see, you'll see, you just basically are trying to match child and parent. Uh, they're all fairly famous people, so you might know some of them instinctively. Otherwise, you're going to be looking out for hints, aren't you, about what the family likeness is and who might be that child's parent. So you ready to give it a go? See how you get on. So how did you do? Did you manage to match them all up? Do you think you've got them all? Well, let's have a look at the answers. So 
So how did you get on? How many did you get? And for those that you got right, what gave it away? Was it their eyes, their ears, perhaps their nose, perhaps the way they were smiling? Um, my guess is there was some kind of physical resemblance that helped you guess uh, which child and which parent were matched up. And it would be the same in our own photo albums, wouldn't it? Uh, if we spread some photos out, we'd probably begin to guess uh, who we were related to because we looked like them. And actually, if you get to know people, uh, it's not often just on looks. The family likeness can come through in other ways. It can come through in mannerisms or traits or the way they speak. And sometimes we will say, oh, he sounds like his dad or she smiles like her mother. Uh, there is more to our family likeness than just physical resemblance. But how does that translate into our spiritual life? Because we become part of the family of God when we become Christians. And we're told in scripture to, to be imitators of God. So, so what does it mean to bear the family likeness? Well, it's obviously not physical. Um, so how do we bear the likeness of uh, Jesus? Well, as we finish 1 Thessalonians today, we're going to find out what it looks like in Christian community to display the likeness of Christ. And before we get to uh, hearing God's word, we're going to pray for that. We're going to pray for the help of the Holy Spirit that we might live like Christ, both individually and as a community. Let us pray. Abba Father, you are holy, supreme over all, our beginning and end, going before us and behind us through life's journey. Thank you that through Jesus, we can approach you in every situation by prayer and petition. With thanksgiving, you invite us to bring our requests and our concerns to you. In so doing, we welcome the peace of God, which is beyond understanding. And it is this peace that guards our hearts and minds. Lord, may your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. We pray this for our world. We pray for that kingdom, which is characterized by love and justice and peace. We pray for our world leaders and our own country's leaders, that you would allow them to turn to you and to bow to your sovereignty. May they receive your wisdom to make the right decisions in the midst of the social and economic turmoil that is caused by the pandemic. May they show grace and compassion to the most vulnerable in our society. We pray for peace with other countries May they uphold the freedom of our citizens, both home and abroad. For our community and church, Lord, we ask for the strength <clears throat> of those that are working tirelessly across the community in caring for those with health care needs and providing all the practical support that is required. May they grow in patience and joy as they continually give of themselves week after week. We pray for the work of the local charities like the Food Bank, Helping Hands and Christians Against Poverty, who provide support to those in financial difficulty. Please bring tangible help to those in need who've lost their jobs recently, who are experiencing financial hardship. For all who are lonely and going through bereavement, may they find comfort from you. And Lord, if they don't know you, we pray that you would send people across their paths to bring your love and compassion into their situations. Be with our church leaders and the staff team as they continue to pastor and feed us spiritually. Give them wisdom as they consider ways that we could begin to meet together again after the restrictions have been lifted. <clears throat> Thank you for the creativity and enthusiasm of all those who are inputting into our children and young adults and the teenagers. Lord, thank you for the weekly opportunities for them to gather and share about their faith. May this be a time of growth for them. <clears throat> be with Hannah Cook and those who are preparing the content for the Holiday Club. May you bless this work and may it reach so many more children this year than it has in past years. And for ourselves, Lord, we, <clears throat> we know that you are our only hope. You've given us your spirit. When we turn to you, the veil is taken away and we can reflect on your glory. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. 
and we are changed into your likeness. You enable us to grow more like you with ever increasing glory which comes from your spirit. May we find ways to reflect on you in quiet times. And when we look back on this period of our lives, may we not see that we have turned our faces and hearts away from you, but towards you. Even when grief and pain, loneliness may make this the hardest thing to do. As we see you, we find strength to face the day. And in your presence, all our fears are washed away, washed away. Hosanna. To you be all glory. Amen. God reveals to us what it means for us to bear the family likeness in his word. And Sarah Dahl is going to read 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 12 to 28 for us now. Uh, after which we are going to sing a hymn uh, as a prayer that God would speak to us from his word. Now it's perhaps a familiar song to some of us, but uh, the words are so out. Let me just read you some of the first verse. It says... Speak, O Lord, as we come to you to receive the food of your holy word. Take your truth, plant it deep in us, shape and fashion us in your likeness. Do you see it there? That idea that it's God's word that is going to fashion us, shape us to bear the family likeness. So grab your Bible, turn to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Sarah's going to read to us after which we're going to sing. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 12 to 28 Final instructions Now we ask you, brothers and sisters, to acknowledge those who work hard among you, who care for you in the Lord and who admonish you. Hold them in the highest regard in love because of their work. Live in peace with each other. And we urge you, brothers and sisters, warn those who are idle and disruptive. Encourage the disheartened. Help the weak. Be patient with everyone. Make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong, but always strive to do what is good for each other and for everyone else. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not treat prophecies with contempt, but test them all. Hold on to what is good, Reject every kind of evil. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. Brothers and sisters, pray for us. Greet all God's people with a holy kiss. I charge you before the Lord to have this letter read to all the brothers and sisters. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you.